We continue to follow the story of Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords of the 8th District in Arizona. That's Tucson, Arizona. She has been shot outside a supermarket. We are aware of conflicting reports at this hour that she might have died, although I want to direct you straight to what we've just heard from her communications director, who says she is still alive and currently in surgery. So that is the latest from her office. What we understand from the scene, and these are pictures coming into us from our ABC affiliates, is that witnesses are reporting that they heard 15 to 20 gunshots at an event being held outside that supermarket. In fact, it was the congresswoman herself who tweeted just a short time before the event. And take a look at the tweet. This is the message that she sent out to her district there in Tucson. My first Congress on your corner starts now. Please stop by to let me know what is on your mind or tweet me later. This is the tweet she sent out just a short time before this shooting is said to have taken place. Her husband has also made headlines before, and we wanted to direct your attention to just who he is. Her husband is Mark Kelly, and he was set to command the last shuttle flight. His brother is, in fact, up in space right now, and we have learned from our producer in Texas that he is now traveling to Arizona to the hospital where his wife, as we have learned from the congression, congressional office, from the communications director, that she is currently in surgery. That is the late word from Congresswoman Gifford's office. Of course, we do not know if any of the emotions that might have flooded over from the political midterms took any sort of play in this in this event. Uh, we do know that, that that race was a very hotly contested race. She won by, I believe, two percentage points or even less up against a Tea Party favorite. Uh, again, there are conflicting reports about Arizona Congresswoman Gabriel Giffords at this hour, whether or not she has died or, in fact, is in surgery, uh, trying to fight what was apparently a shotgun blast to the head. Witnesses report several others were shot as well, perhaps up to 11 other people also taken to the hospital. And we do believe that a bystander might have tackled the person who fired the gun, or at least one of the people involved, that person in custody at this hour. Of course, it's an ongoing story out of Tucson, Arizona, and we will continue to follow it both here on the network and at abcnews.com, and we will have complete coverage a little later here on ABC's World News. Well, that's too bad. It's a bad day uh, any time a bunch of people get killed, but uh, what's even worse is the lack of details online about where, but anyway, this just recent news tidbits. Uh, have a great weekend.